Sawario Dai Ichi, comprising 24 techniques. Sawari Waza, meaning technique starting from the traditional Japanese way of sitting. Here, there are five techniques in part A. Number one, Oshitaoshi. Number two, Tentai Oshitaoshi. Number three, Takubi Osai. Number four, Ryote Muchi, Sumi Otoshi. Number five, Ryote Muchi, Kokyu Nage. Oshi Taoshi. Tori is the one doing the technique. Tori attacks Uke, the one who receives the technique in a circular motion. Uke blocks and is immediately taken down under control by Tori. Observe that both practitioners come up on their toes for the action and stay up all the time. This goes for all the kneeling techniques. Tentai Oshitaoshi. This time Uke attacks first and the same technique is executed but in a circular backwards direction. Hence the word Tentai and is followed up with a traditional Aikido lock. Tekubi Osai, again a classic Aikido move, which develops the control point on Uki's radial artery by pushing up and forwards before downwards. Ryote mochi, sumiyatoshi. Ryote means both hands and mochi means to grip. Sumiyatoshi indicates the direction of throw similar to that in Rantari no Kata in our first video. Here is one link already as mentioned earlier. Ryote mochi, kokyunagi. Again a classic technique but following on from the previous one in order to understand the flow of movement and Uki's intentions leading into this particular throw. Part B, number one, Katate Mochi, Oshitaoshi. Number two, Tentai Oshitaoshi. Number three, Ryote Mochi, Tentai Kote Hineri. Number four, Tekubi Gime, Oshitaoshi. Number five, Ushiro Waza, Kotegaish, number one. Number six, Ushiro Waza, Kotegaish, number two. Number seven, Ushiro Waza, Mai Otoshi. Katate Mochi, Oshitaoshi. Katate Mochi means gripping the hand and the technique is Oshitaoshi. Followed by a twisting lock. 
controlling the shoulder, elbow and wrist. Tentai Ushitaoshi, exactly the same technique as before, except that the direction uke is taken down is circular and backwards, finishing with the same lock. Ryote Mochi, Tentai Kote Hineri, uke grips Tori's right wrist and elbow with right hand and left hand, and Tori performs a Kote Hineri technique. Kubi Kime Oshitaoshi. Uke grips Tori's left hand and elbow with left hand and right hand, and Tori executes another version of Oshitaoshi after a faint punch to distract Uke. The next three techniques are started by turning your back to Uke, hence the term Ushiro. Ushiro Waza, Kotegaish number one, where Uke grips Tori's right wrist with right hand and the back of Tori's collar with left hand, upon which Tori executes a Kotegaish technique by twisting Uke's right wrist backwards and outwards, thereby throwing him. Ushiro Waza, Kotegaish number two, where a left variation is performed. Ushiro was a Mayatoshi in which Uke is thrown to his front, similar to the Mayatoshi of Randori no Kata. Again, another link of directional throw. Part C, number one, Katamuchi Shihonagi. Number two, Katamuchi Hijinage. Number three, Katamuchi Senkuinage. Number four, Katamuchi Tenkai Shihonagi. Number five, Katate Mochi, Irimigage number one. Number six, Katate Mochi, Iriminage number two. In these first four techniques, Uke tries to grab Tori's shoulder, starting with the right, left, right, and left, hence the word kata. Kata Mochi Shihunagi, where Uke is thrown by Shihunagi in a spirally downwards direction like a sword cut slicing on going backwards. Kata mochi, hijinage, where the technique is on the elbow joint. Kata mochi, senkuinage, where sweeping up the leg at the same time helps the momentum of the throw. Kata mochi, tenkai shihonage, where it is important Tori has a slipping grip when dropping down on the knee, otherwise Uke will suffer a wrenched, at worst, broken elbow or wrist. Katate mochi iriminage number one, where classical entering techniques are practiced after drawing Uke into forward motion, either in a straight line or circular, as in katate mochi iriminage number two. Part D, number one, Ryote Mochi, Tenshinagi. Number two, Ryote Mochi, Tekubi Kime. Number three, Ryote Mochi, Tsukashi Nage. Number four, Ryote Mochi, Shiho Nage. Number five, Ryote Mochi, Senkui Nage. Number six, Ushiro Ryote Mochi, Mai Nage. This group, as implied by the name, are techniques done when Uki grabs both Tori's wrists with both hands. Ryote mochi, tenchinage, means heaven and earth, where uki's balance is disturbed simultaneously in an upwards and downwards direction. Ryote mochi te kubikime, where uke is thrown by being gripped in return, 
and utilizing a hard lot of hip turning power with an up and forwards action. Ryotemuchi Kashinagi. The theory is drop Tori dropping suddenly, so that Uki finds an empty space instead of a person, thus being off balance. Ryotemuchi Shihonagi, as can be seen, the important point is disturbing Uki's balance and power grip before executing the technique. Ryotemuchi Senkuinagi, similar to the kneeling form. Ushiro Ryote Mochi Mai Nage, where Tori is gripped from behind but throws Uke forward by slipping sideways and dropping behind while throwing forwards. 